Matt will be going live in less than an hour. Today's video, we'll be going over Season 1 rewards, the free players, and what you guys could expect for Season 1. So, enough said. Let's jump into it. Don't forget, if you guys did order the deluxe version of Man 24, it will be going live at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Let's jump into it. If you guys are new here, join the channel. Show the video some love. And let's get to it. So before we jump to anything else, right here on the screen is the official Season 1 Field Pass Rewards. You guys can see, the max reward level is 61. I'm going to just be honest with you guys. The best thing about the season rewards is always, number one, the free players. Especially the one that's further down, closest to 61. For example, it's like Jalen Ramsey. He's going to be the best player in the season one field pass. So, number one, it's definitely the free players. Number two, I would say personally, it's going to be the packs. And number three, it is the coins. But you guys want to pause the video right here and take a closer look at it. Go ahead. But the, by far, the best thing about the Season 1 rewards is the free players. So let's jump into it now. Like I said, for my personal opinion, the best thing about the Season 1 rewards or any season is always the players. Why am I grinding the game? Why am I doing the daily objections? Like, what's the motive? So, one of the very first play players you guys could get for free is an 8-3 overall, DeAndre Swift. Is he good? Is he bad? Let me know your thoughts down below. I mean, he is a free player. I mean, he has A2 speed, but for no money spent or for a backup, he wouldn't be bad at all. A2 speed for running back, I always feel like you need two, a power back and a lucid back, especially if you guys pass the ball and shotgun, like me. So, in the lucid back, that's what he is. A2 speed, anyone change direction, and I'm not going to lie, the rest of his card is pretty bad. But, like I said, he is a free player, so let me know your thoughts down below on Mr. Swift. Like I said, right now he's on the Eagles too. So he has played for the Eagles and he's also played for the Lions. If you guys want to know for theme team purposes. So let's jump into the other players. Rookie, Bryce Young, first pick of the draft this year. 86 overall. Keep in mind, the rest of these players, most of them you guys will need a upgraded token or upgrade token to fully power them up. So just keep that in mind. So he's played for the Panthers. 83 speed, 84 throw under pressure, 85 on the run, and 86 play action. Not bad. He is an improviser. And 85 throw power, 86 short, 83 medium, and 82 deep accuracy. Not bad for a free quarterback, especially if you guys are no money spent. And our next player is A6 overall, DeAndre Hopkins. Wide receiver, he does have slot apprentice, so it gives you extra hot routes to your wide receiver when you guys put him in the slot for any shotgun formation or any formation in general. Now, 84 speed, not the best speed, but he is a free player with a good ability if you guys know how to use it on your offense. 84 short, 85 medium, and 81 deep route running. So that's what I'm saying. You know, he's uh, in between the numbers guy. A guy that should be in the numbers on any formation. So in bunch, put this guy in the middle of the bunch formation. And he should be making plays. So 84 speed, not the best. Our next player, now I feel like this is where it gets good. 87 overall, Reggie White. 82 speed, 87 block shedding, 87 power move, 81 finesse move. I always say for any left end, you guys want all three. But the fact that he has 87 for block shedding and power move, that's really good, and he's a free player. A1 finesse move is really good, and A2 speed early on in the year, within the cu first couple of weeks within the game. You guys cannot complain about a free legend in him. And this is the guy, the best player, the blessed, best player when you guys fully you know, upgrade him and power him up. A9 overall, Jalen Ramsey. 88 speed, 90 man coverage, 87 zone coverage, 89 press. I believe you guys need four upgrade tokens to fully power him up to an 89. So. You guys won't get this version right off the bat. But for a free player, eventually once you guys get to that level and you guys achieve him, he's going to be a shutdown corner. 88 speed, can't complain. 89 press, nobody will be getting open against him as long as they're not dropping better players when you guys are like on track, uh, in progress to get him. As long as you guys stay, you know, close or, you know, at least updated with your daily objections and your grind. So with that being said, let me know your thoughts down below. The best part I would say about any season, you know, competitive field pass or season pass, it's always on the free players. Is it worth grinding? Yes or no? Early on in the year, no money spent or all money spent. All the players in this video, is at least the last two, I would say Jalen Ramsey and Reggie White, they're worth it. So don't forget boys, let me know your thoughts down below. 
and Madden's less than like 30 minutes away from going live. So if you guys want to stay updated on news on Ultimate Team, make sure to follow the channel. Show this video some love. Leave a comment down below. And I'll see you guys on the next one.